What have you heard about polycystic ovary syndrome, which is PCOS? Would you like to share with us? Kindly drop on the comment section. But today, I'm going to be sharing with you eight myths about polycystic ovary syndrome. More or less, I call them eight lies about polycystic ovary syndrome. All right, welcome back. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference. And today, I'm going to be debunking eight myths about polycystic ovary syndrome. The very first one I want to debunk is... All irregular cycle are as a result of PCOS. That is a big fat lie. Yes, irregular cycle is associated with PCOS, but all irregular cycle are not as a result of PCOS. A woman can have irregular cycle as a result of stress, as a result of some thyroid disorder, as a result of over dieting, as a result of over exercising as a result of PID, which is pelvic inflammatory disease. And a woman can have irregular cycle as a result of uterine fibroid. So not all irregular cycle as a result of PCOS. So as a woman, if you notice you have irregular cycle, it's advisable you speak with your healthcare provider or your ONG doctor. For those that are asking, what is a regular or a normal cycle? A regular or a normal cycle is a menstrual cycle that is between 21 to 35 days. Have I made myself clear and have I answered that question? Yes. So then that takes me to the second myth, the second lie I would like to bust about PCOS. And the second one is for those that are saying PCOS is a rare condition. No, no, no. PCOS is not a rare condition. It is relatively common and it affects one in 10 women. According to the World Health Organization, 70% of women who have PCOS are undiagnosed worldwide. So you can see PCOS is not rare. It is rather common. Then that takes me to the third myth I would like to debunk. People say that all women with PCOS have cysts in their ovaries. Mm, that is a big fat lie. Yes, there are some women that have PCOS but don't have cysts in their ovaries. Let me tell you something. For you to be confirmed that you have polycystic ovary syndrome, two out of these three signs need to surface. What are these three signs? The first one is having irregular meses. The second one is there's an increase in a male hormone known as androgens. That's the testosterone. There's an, there's an increase in it. And the third one is the cyst. So if you are a woman, you have two out of these three, or you even have the three, that is when the diagnosis of PCOS comes. So you may have irregular period and also high androgens in your bloodstream, but you don't have cysts. They will still diagnose your PCOS. So not all PCOS have ovarian cyst. I hope that is clear. That is the third myth I would like to debunk. Now that takes me to the fourth one I would like to debunk and that is all women with PCOS are infertile. Who told you that? That is a big fat lie. All women with PCOS are not infertile. People with PCOS can conceive naturally and have their babies. Like I will always tell you, people with PCOS, they ovulate, they release egg. Just that they can't really track it to know the actual date that they are ovulating. It's kind of difficult compared to those that have the normal cycle, okay? So people with PCOS can still have children, they can still get pregnant and carry their babies to term. So don't get misunderstood and don't get carried away by that big fat lie. The fifth myth about PCOS I would like to debunk is the fact that people say PCOS only affects overweight women only affects people that are obese that is a lie it doesn't only affect them it can affect anybody okay and not everybody that are obese or overweight that has PCOS so don't get it intertwined don't get it misunderstood all right but those that see it that way please and please the slim the fat the medium the average can get PCOS so it's not by being overweight or obese that that takes me to the sixth point if they are related when some people say that if you have PCOS and you lose weight, it is going to help you cure PCOS. Generally, PCOS does not have a cure. We can't say, oh, if you do this in particular, the PCOS is going to go away totally. 
There's no treatment plan. There's no prevention plan that I am aware of. Okay, so don't get it intertwined. Don't get it twisted. Even if you lose weight and you have PCOS, it might increase your chance of fertility, but it is not a treatment for PCOS. Then that takes me to the seventh myth about PCOS I would like to debunk. And that is, if you see a woman and she has hairs in her beard or she has facial hair, that is to show that this woman has PCOS. That is to show that this woman is infertile. No, I just want to debunk that myth. Not all women with hyacetism have PCOS. And not all women with PCOS have hyacetism, which is hair in other places. Hair in the face, facial hair, body hairs, and things like that. Because generally, we expect men to have a lot of hairs, yes. But when you see women with hair, that doesn't mean they have PCOS. And when you see women with PCOS, that doesn't mean that they should have hair all over their body. Yes, one of the signs of PCOS is an increased androgen, increase in the male hormone. But that does not give a definite sign that any woman you see with facial hair, they have PCOS. I'm going to be talking from experience. Personally, my mom growing up has facial hairs. She has hairs on her beard. And she was never diagnosed of PCOS. She was never diagnosed of polycystic ovary syndrome. She was never diagnosed of infertility. She gave birth to six children back to back. See, she said, oh, I have to stop. It's okay. So facial hair is not a clue or a diagnostic idea for you to say this woman has PCOS. Now that takes me to the last point, which is the most important point, the number eight point. And that is, if you have PCOS, it is your fault. That is a big fat lie. You have PCOS, you don't need to blame yourself about it. You don't need to blame anybody. It's not your fault. The major cause of PCOS is not clearly understood. All we keep hearing from the science point of view is that risk factors, risk factors, risk factors. But the main cause of PCOS is not clearly understood. So you have no right to blame yourself. I'm telling you not to blame yourself if you are diagnosed of PCOS. And I also want to let you know that PCOS, the major one also that I listed before, it's not a sign of infertility. You can also have children. Even if we hear people like it's common, like PCOS is common, no ovulation, no ovulation is a major cause of infertility. But women with PCOS have successfully given birth, they have successfully get, gotten pregnant naturally, and they've given birth to their own kids. So one thing I advise, if you are battling with fertility issues, you have tried to conceive, you have PCOS, if you try within the first six months, if you have PCOS and you try within the first six months to conceive and it's not working, quickly see a fertility expert. The earlier you see them, the better. Trust me, the earlier you see a fertility expert, the better. So these are the eight myths I would like to debunk today about PCOS. And I hope you got value for this video. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Messy Mary saying thank you. Bye!